Hey everybody and welcome to Butchie Boom. We're heading on down to Global Foundries. We're going to go down to Stonebreak Road via, well, I-87. We're getting off at exit 12 in Malta. I chose exit 12 in Malta for this trip because it seems to be more centrally located uh, between Clifton Park and uh, Saratoga. And frankly, there's a Starbucks <laughs> and a Dunkin' off the exit. And I figure folks would probably want to stop and grab something on the way. There's a McDonald's, too. I think we'll pass it. Um, so with that said, we're heading on down to uh, Luther Forest, to Global Foundries. Uh, there's a lot of excitement going on with Global Foundries right now. A few things, and I'm going to try to touch on them the best that I know here in the video. Uh, I figure there's going to be a lot of big interest. So we're doing the video so you can see what the area is like. And before I get too far ahead of myself, please don't forget to subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more videos as this transpires. Uh, so we want you to stay up, up to date and give us a thumbs up. if you, that, that would be really nice. So as we head around all these uh, circles, we're going to go on down to Route 9, and we're going to take that down to Stonebreak on 67. But we'll get there. Uh, Global Foundries is in the process of pretty much doubling, doubling its size. There's a 3,000 workforce uh, person workforce there now um, in the Luther Forest um, uh, area. It's relatively new back there. In the last 10 years or so, there was a big ordeal with them going in, but now they're in, and there's, they're looking to expand, to double. Uh, not a bad thing. We need the work around the area. Uh, but here, here's the, the, the thing that's adding some more excitement to it. Intel has put a $30 billion offer. You heard it. $30 billion. They want to build a city within a city. They're looking for a nice stretch of area that they can put in uh, the city within a city, um, and they're looking to do it pretty quickly. So the construction and everything is going to be happening one way or another here uh, uh, down Global Foundries. They've got, to my understanding, over 100 fab sites all ready to go. And for those of us who didn't know what a, or don't know what a fab site is, I had to learn that too. That's actually just a new word for a factory site. <laughs> uh, go figure. So there's about 100 fab sites down there that I'm aware of. Uh, right now, there's a bunch of clamoring going on back and forth. Who should get one of the sites? Who shouldn't get one of the sites? Because one site may interfere with the expansion of another site. I won't get into the politics of all that. Let the bigger minds deal with it. But I'm going to show you where it's at, and we're coming up here pretty quickly. Uh, a lot of the folks I pick up and drop off, as some of you know, uh, I, I work for Uber and Lyft. I drive for Uber and Lyft. So I pick up a lot of folks here in Malta and pick them up, drop them off. Uh, and most everybody lately has been up at Ellsworth. Um, so I don't know that maybe there's some kind of a relationship between, I don't know, I don't pry and ask, but there's a lot of folks that go to Ellsworth that come back and forth down here. So here we go. We're heading on down Stone Break. And we're going to go on. This is a fairly new road. Like I said, it's within the last 10 years. I'm, uh, I'm not very old, but I'm old enough to remember that, um, you know, not so long ago, there were dirt roads, gravel roads back here, folks, that I would travel to cut from Malta over to, to um, uh, Stillwater in Mechanicville. So uh, this is like brand new. It's amazing. And I see some of the roads up here and I'm like, wow, I know where that would connect on the other side. So I have yet to come in here and really explore but you can see what this is like and how big it's going to be once all this land is filled in with buildings. But it's beautiful. It's a beautiful site. I'm sure it's going to remain somehow. I don't know. But uh, there's a lot of expansion back here. And it's, um, it's our way of addressing the global chip shortage, which is, you know, uh, uh, I don't want to get into any of the, the, the kind of political stuff, but it is a huge ordeal. We need our chips, folks. So um, without our chips, well, I guess we wouldn't have YouTube. <laughs> we wouldn't have our cell phones. We wouldn't have a lot. And so um, it, it's time that we build our own and we make our own here. There's some controversy going on in Taiwan, which figures into it. Um, again, I don't want to get involved in that. Uh, 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 but that's impacting the decision making that's happening here, according to my research. Uh, I'll tell you the source of my research would be the Albany Times Union newspaper and News Channel 13, the local WNYT. Uh, so if my information is wrong, blame them, not me. <laughs> but you see the, uh, uh, the area here. I don't know how far and how expansive any of the building is going to be, but you can see what the trip is like. And it's pretty much nothing until we get down to 
uh, uh, the actual Global Foundries itself. There are, I will note, a couple of hiking trails, it looks like, that go off to the right. So it looks like they preserved some sort, when they were designing the forest, some sort of hiking trails where you can park, uh, go for a hike. I don't know. Again, I haven't been. The last time I was back in here, other than dropping off folks and picking them up, was cutting across the dirt roads that no longer are here. Rocket Drive. In fact, I was coming across one of the dirt roads, coming back across the dirt road. A friend of mine, we were going to do something, I don't know. He lived in Stillwater. I lived in Malta, in Luther Forest, actually, in one of the, the townhouses over there. And I'll take you on a trip over there sometime. I don't any, live there anymore. But anyway, a big turkey just flew out of nowhere and hit the windshield of my car and kept flying. It was my pick. I had a, a, a big um, ranger. Took the windshield and kept on going. I couldn't find that stupid turkey. I hope he was okay. I'm sure he was. The windshield wasn't. So if you're up in the area, watch for turkey. And deer. Especially as we get on into the fall. It becomes deer mating season and they are going to be out. So here we go. We're getting ready to go on into Global Foundries. We're going to go around this bend. I actually have a purpose for going in here, so I'm going to stop at the gate and check in at the gate. You do have to pre present your credentials in order to get past the, uh, the check-in point. But as you can see, this is huge. This is humongous. And this is, they're talking doubling in size. Now, it looks like my understanding, Intel's coming regardless, because Intel's, they got a $30 billion offer on this place. So even if they don't build their city within a city, I, I, or, you know, whatever they're trying to do, you know, they're still coming here. And, you know, that makes sense because of the IBM being so close. Now, AMD was here. Um, I think maybe part of them still are, but um, they may have moved up north or out west New York into Rochester area. I am not positive on that. But I know that there's a lot of stuff going on in, in the Albany Capital District area. And the whole chip and uh, nano industry is, is skyrocketing around here. People are coming from all over the world to... Uh, bring their experience and, and, and make our chip industry huge. And we welcome you and thank you. So most folks come on up here to Building 3. Uh, I don't know if that's like the main entrance. I have never been inside. I have seen on YouTube, there's tons of videos doing tours of the inside. I see no videos bringing us down here along the, the, for the ride. That's why we're doing this video. And I know that the interest in the area is going to be, you know, out of this world. And see, I made a wrong turn here, folks. You know, uh, I was uh, trying to narrate this video. I got too busy yapping to you guys, and I made the turn. I had to cut it because I had said something that when I realized that it just wasn't appropriate. So I had to redo the, this audio as part of the reason for doing this. So that's why we're turning around. Don't do this at home. But I usually drop off and pick up over here at building three. Not very complicated. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here, circle around, and I'm going to try to get a picture or something from the other side, and uh, uh, we'll flash it up at the end. I think it may be the same picture that you saw at the beginning. I don't know. Uh, I don't want that to be a reason that you, you leave, though. I want you to notice that all the parking is here. Um, and there's other parking lots that's very, very expensive. I mean, there's well, they got 3,000 people here. Oh, and just so you know, uh, my, one, a vital piece of information. Uh, Malta is about 30 minutes north of Albany. So you're looking at a half-hour trip from either Albany International Airport or uh, the train station in Rensselaer. So it's really not that far. 
Um, again, I want to thank everybody for watching. We're going to be doing a lot more. We're going to be watching this expansion as it happens. We're going to come down here and update the video often. So don't forget to subscribe, like us, share us. I know everybody from around the world is going to be watching this video. You guys are going to be coming. Can't wait to see you. Hopefully I'll pick you up as part of an Uber or a Lyft ride. Until that time, I'm going to be quiet. I'm just going to find a spot in the park and we'll take a picture and flop it up there for you. Thank you again so much.